This tip will put you in control of your software and services subscriptions. Hello, I'm William Gallagher for Apple Insider with a slight cold. Even if it's only Apple Music or Netflix, the odds are very high that you now subscribe to some service or perhaps software app. And the odds are even higher that you've never particularly needed to unsubscribe. When you do though, it's not exactly obvious how. But if all services and all developers make it temptingly easy to add more and more subscriptions, getting rid of them is easy too, once you know where to look. On your iPhone or iPad, go into settings and tap on your name at the top. Next, tap on iTunes and App Store, which is typically about midway down the screen there. Now tap on your Apple ID at the top of this page. Choose View Apple ID and let your iPhone identify you. Whether that identification is through uh, Touch ID or as here, Face ID, depends on which iPhone you've got, and so does this. On an iPhone XS Max, for example, the subscriptions button we want is right there at the foot of the screen. You may well have to scroll down further to get it on other iPhones or iPads. When you do though, tap on subscriptions and we're into the subscriptions page. There may be two sections here. If you've come to this wondering why you suddenly don't have Netflix anymore or some other subscription, see if there's an expired section here. If there is, then that app may well be in here. And the good news is you can tap on it and just resubscribe straight away. We're more interested though in the first section, the one that's always there whenever you have any current subscriptions that you're paying out via the App Store. This active section doesn't tell you very much yet, uh, it only gives you the title, the briefest of descriptions, and when your next payment date is due. But you can tap on that line, anywhere on that line, and you will see more. Specifically, while every subscription is slightly different, the way you use them here is identical. Everyone will have a list of prices for your local territory, and there'll be a check mark next to the one that you are currently paying. You can change this to any of the other fee options available just by tapping or you can tap on cancel subscription. If you do that, your subscription moves to the expired section and you're done. One poor thing actually is that there's no way to remove the expired subscription from that list. But then equally, one good thing is that fact that you can just tap on it to resubscribe right away. You don't have to hunt down the app, go to the app developer's website. You can just re-up straight away. So go on, tell us the truth. Were you shocked to realize just how many subscriptions you've got? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.